Every day you make dozens of decisions. Some are easy, like what to have for dinner, or if you want a brownie, cake, or pie for dessert. Deciding on what to get for a wireless mesh network? Not so easy. That's why I'm here today. I'd like to help you figure out what you need using Cisco Business Wireless CBW 140, 145, and 240 access points. These APs are 802.11a-b-g-n and AC-based with internal antennas. They support 802.11ac Wave 2 standard for high performance. In a CBW mesh network, you must have one wired primary AP for the bridge to the rest of the wireless network. The primary AP directly links to the primary router, which in turn routes traffic to the WAN ISP interface the internet. Once your wired primary AP has been selected, you have several options for the rest of the wireless network. Which AP combination is the best for you? In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll review the features and options that will help you with this fun but important decision. Like eating dessert first, let's start with the best part. The 140, 145, and 240 AC models work together, which gives you the flexibility to add or move these APs around if your needs change. Any of these models can be a wired primary AP, a backup wired AP, or even run as a wireless mesh extender. You can pick any of these models or any combination as long as the primary AP is wired. Sweet, right? Okay, let's dig in a little more. At a high level, the 140 and 145 AC models have the same processor and the same memory. The 240 AC is a higher performing model. It has more radios, a faster processor, and more random access memory, or RAM. Moving on from the basics, I'll go over some important considerations. Where do you want to mount the access points? The 140 and 240 models are meant to be attached to the ceiling while the 145 is built for a wall mount. Next, you'll have to figure out how many access points you'll need. The 140 and 145 AC models cover a maximum distance between APs of 50 to 60 feet. The 240 AC covers a maximum distance between APs of 60 to 70 feet. This estimated range assumes the APs are in an open area. If the area is not open, you should reduce those values by 20 to 30%. As a general guideline, coverage should overlap at least 10 to 20%. As with all wireless APs, there will be some variance depending on the configuration and environment. Thinking about your network devices, will you need extra ethernet ports or power over ethernet ports? The 140 AC does not have extra ethernet ports or downstream power over ethernet capabilities. The 145 AC has three Ethernet ports where you can connect additional devices such as an IP phone or a security camera. One of these ports can provide power over Ethernet, PoE, but only if the 145 AC itself is connected to an 802.3AT port on the uplink. If the 145 AC is only connected to an 802.3AF uplink port, it will have enough power to run, but not enough to provide PoE. If you don't need PoE and just need some additional ports for Ethernet, this is a great option. If PoE is essential, you may want to choose the 240 AC. This model has one extra Ethernet port that provides downstream power over Ethernet. The next option to consider is, do you need a pass-through port? The 145 AC is the only one in this series with a pass-through port, which is essentially a cable extension. It gives network access to another device without having to use a switch. It's like having another wall jack. Finally, you need to decide if you want a backup wired primary AP. If you're a believer in better safe than sorry, you can set up two wired APs in the network. This would give you a primary AP and an automatic backup in case the primary AP goes down. Setup and management can be done through the Cisco Business mobile application, which keeps things simple. What's great is that you can always add additional APs from this series later. Adding APs to an existing CBW mesh network is simple. 
The firmware on the new AP will be updated automatically if needed, and then join the network. In addition to these primary capable APs, you can use CBW141 and 143 ACM models of mesh extenders for all or part of the wireless portion of these networks. And now that you know the options and features of these CBW APs, it should make this decision as easy as pie. Or at least enough to get started. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.